Hey y'all, this is, <laughs> did you hear that? Woo! <laughs> hey y'all, this is going to be a short one, but it's something I have to inform you of, and also, I am so fucking mad I just have to re vent about it. <clears throat> so, a good while back ago, there was the John C. Calhoun statue downtown in, I think, whatever park, I forget where, where. I don't go downtown a lot, and they took it down, and that irritated the shit out of me because it's been there for fucking ever, and John C. Calhoun was literally not even alive during the Civil War. <laughs> I don't care that he was pro-slavery and said, you know, the only fucking sin against John C. Calhoun in my book is that he said it, was a necess well, it wasn't a necessary evil, but a positive good. Yeah, that's the only fucking score against him, because in my eyes, the South had the whole slavery system as a necessary evil because, you know, the industry and the farming, farming and all shit, which was being phased out at the time. But the whole economy had the rug ripped out, ripped out, ripped out under their feet. So I'm not going to bitch about that right now. But the statue himself, itself, the statue was on this big ass fucking pillar in the middle of the park and he looked down over all the park and I fucking love that statue, bruh. I thought it was so cool. And then they took it down. And I think the only thing that saved that statue was the fact that it was so fucking up high because they would have probably destroyed it. And there was a bunch of different, like, statues, that, or not statues, uh, s like, flags and banners and graffiti on the post of the, um, the statue saying, like, you know, slaver and la la la, racist. Well, a committee had just voted to send that motherfucker to California to go sit in a museum. Can you imagine, can you imagine the fucking destruction that it is open to now, sitting in a museum? One, why the fuck does California get to have it? Why can't it sit in a museum in South Carolina? I don't like that at all. Second, <laughs> really, they're gonna put this in a place where it's just open for anyone to just come and just, you know, deface it, you know, all kinds of other shit that they could possibly do. I, I'm just so fucking mad about this, bro, because it, he was the vice president of the United States, if I remember correctly. Can we not, Trump was so goddamn right with the whole statues thing. First it's, um, whoever, Robert E. Lee, and then it's going to be Jefferson, then it's going to be Washington. It's like, yeah, we fucking called it. We knew it was going to, we knew it was coming. And now John C. Calhoun of South Carolina, a really fucking big figure from South Carolina history. Just gonna put him in a, in a museum somewhere across the fucking country. Just, you know, just don't, don't care. Just fuck a whole, our whole state history. Just fuck all that. And one thing, South Carolina state history is not entirely just slavery. I will tell you that. Charleston is called the holy city for a fucking reason. It's because of all the religious tolerance and all the different kinds of churches that were built downtown. It wasn't just Catholic, it wasn't just Presbyterian, it wasn't just whatever one dominant denomination, it was everything. But everyone wants to say slavery when it comes to SE history. Y'all don't want to talk about how we killed Blackbeard, but y'all want to talk about slavery that happened 200 years ago. And not the slavery that's going on now. Libya has literally an open air, uh, open air slave market. Pardon me, I'm so mad I'm stuttering. But we had to worry about the shit that's happened to, that happened 200 years ago. Makes sense. Anyway, I'm a fuck off now because this is just so goddamn irritating. My blood is boiling. And it's, of course I hear about this shit after the fact. I hear about this committee after the fact has already happened. Like, thanks local news for telling us all, all this stuff is going on. You know, I try to be as active as, as I possibly can. But when they just actively hide things from you and just not make it known until after the fact, it's a little hard. Regardless, I'll fuck off now. Bye-bye.